Hi, kindergarten. We're gonna use our watercolor paints today and you're gonna be painting a rainbow. Now, this is step one of this art project. So this paper needs to go in a safe spot. I don't want you to put it somewhere where it's gonna get lost. Ask a grown-up at home a safe spot that you can put it because we're gonna use it next art class. We're gonna be cutting and gluing and adding on. Now, you have your very own paintbrush that came inside your watercolor kit. Your watercolor kit probably looks like mine, but the, the watercolors are circle, mine are um, rectangles. This is very important, very special art tool. Mr. Brush, you never wanna give him a headache. So see how his bristles are nice and tall. He's having a good hair day. If you take Mr. Brush and you slam him on the paper and you twist him around, his hair gets all crazy and then he has a bad hair day and he doesn't work very well. So you need to make sure that you're treating Mr. Brush very nicely. When it's time to get him wet, you dip him in your water cup, swirl it around, you swipe it on the side of your water cup and then you gently choose the color that you want. So when I start with red for my first color of my rainbow, I'm just gonna gently touch the red. I'm not taking him and jamming him in there and twisting him around, because then guess what's gonna happen? He's gonna get a headache, your paintbrush is gonna get ruined, and you're not gonna be able to paint, and that's gonna be so sad. So make sure you treat Mr. Brush kindly. All right, make sure you have your water cup ready. You need a paper towel or a napkin to put under it to wipe off your paintbrush. You had a paintbrush that came in your watercolor kit. You need your watercolors, and you need a piece of white paper from your art supplies that you got at the back at the beginning of the school year. Make sure your paper is going across vertically. All right, we're gonna be painting a rainbow today. Now the first color in a rainbow is gonna be red. You wanna swirl your paintbrush in the water cup, wipe it on the edge, and then gently touch the color. I'm gonna use my paintbrush and pull it across my paper in a kind of a curved line to make my rainbow. If that's not dark enough, you can go back and add a little bit more red right on top. Now, whenever you wanna to change to a new color, you can't just stick your paintbrush in. You need to put your paintbrush in the water cup, swirl it, swipe it, and then gently touch the new color. So I went to orange next. It looks kind of yellow on here, but it's orange because the color that comes after red in the rainbow is orange. So once I've got my orange on there, I'm gonna go back to my water cup, give it a swirl and a swipe, and go to my next color, which is yellow. I'm gonna keep going down all of the colors for my rainbow until I have a rainbow that has red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. All right, we have our rainbow. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Now we have to paint the sky. All of this space around your rainbow is going to be blue because rainbows live in the sky and the sky is blue. If your paint stops working, just put your paintbrush back in the water cup, get a little more water on there. and Remember, water is what's gonna help your paint work. Water is our magic ingredient to make watercolors work. So if it stops working, put your paintbrush back in the water cup, gently touch your color again. We don't want to jam Mr. Brush in there and give him a headache or a bad hair day. And then keep painting around your rainbow. When you're all done painting all those peekaboos in blue, you're going to put this paper in a safe spot. Ask a grown-up at home where a good spot to put this is. We're going to be adding some details to this next art class. And those details might come from the book that you heard this week. <laughs> 